As you should know by now, Black Ink is being sued by multiple people for different alleged botched tattoos where clients were hurt and were left with injuries and tattoos that left them scarred for life. Now, Caesar from Black Ink Crew finally responded to the lawsuits and posted a message on social media for the fans and potential clients to read and hear his side of the story. Now, for the record, I'm going to read to you what he said, but I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Now, if you want to read it verbatim, how he wrote it with all of those flub ups, then you can visit my blog at the link below. Where you can read it without me correcting some of the things that he said because his English is as if he's a foreigner. <laughs> no shade. But anyway, basically what he said was, why do people always talk about some negative shit and the positive stuff gets pushed under the rug? My business has been in Harlem over five years and... I never heard anything but good about my business and as soon as we get on TV the bullshit starts. False allegations and slander are being put out on the media display by people basically looking for a quick money scheme. But nobody's covering or cares that the facts are, all of the allegations are false. Don't you find it funny that both these tattoos are over a year ago and they waited until the third season finale to sue somebody? The funny shit is, the media is going to try to make it look like bullshit, but they're not going to tell you that the first lawsuit was bullshit and got tossed out. The second one is beyond bullshit. Who the fuck gets sued back to back and lost nothing but lawyer money? Some people will try to ruin you for a fast buck. When they see you on your way to success, they try to bring you down. Hashtag crabs in a barrel. End quote. <sighs> More money, more problems, Caesar. I really hope things will simmer down so you can get back to your art and your business soon, man. My heart goes out to you. It sucks that you'll be put in this position. But you got to remember something, Caesar. The way you guys present yourselves on that television show, Black Ink Crew on VH1, people really don't know what to expect from you because think about it like this. You guys paint yourself in the most negative light possible. I mean, you're fighting over chicken being dropped on the floor in Harlem in the year 2015, people fighting over spilled chicken. I mean, you can't make that stuff up, Caesar. You gotta think about it like that. You guys acted wild and acting feral, and it just doesn't look or seem right. So, it's easy to make yourself a target when you present a really negative image of yourself to the world. And your sister, Tiffany, who of course is my favorite, and I had the, I was lucky enough to interview her on my radio show. You know, kudos to me. Woo anyway, Tiffany Winter, the supermodel, she was the only person who really had a really good image on the show out of everybody that's been on there. Like as far as reoccurring cast members are <laughs> concerned, she was the only one that came off looking good. Everybody else pretty much came off looking bad. I don't even think anybody. It, would be considered to be a neutral I guess Ted would be the closest to neutral but even he looks like a villain a lot of the times you know so maybe you should take some advice from your sister you should probably call her up and be like Tiffany what should I do how can I clean up my image how can I clean up the image of the shop because I know that you may be trying to make quote good TV and I know that that nasty way that you guys look on TV that negative image may be how you guys ended up getting to the point where you have a fourth season where you got to think about it like this is it really worth it because pretty much the public's perception of your shop isn't very good if you don't believe me go visit some message boards and other places online like people say a lot of really negative things about the show and about the cast and characters on the show so my advice to you is to go contact your sister and be like how can we clean up my image and rather my show's image your image too because you're part of the show but basically the shows the show's reputation isn't too good as far as outside of Harlem because people who actually came to your shop Caesar you know that's one thing it may not really be like what it's like on TV but as far as that two to three million people who watch you every week the only thing that we know is what we see when we turn on the television. So, 
Just keep that in mind, brother. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.